Hi, I'm Nathan Goldstein, CEO of Vested Business Brokers. We're here on location at Vested's corporate office. Um, I just wanted to talk uh, to you guys this morning about a phone call I got uh, from uh, an executive uh, that was in corporate America for the last 15 years. You know, he said, look, I put 15 years in uh, with one company and I thought I was going to retire there. And uh, f Friday came and they gave me a box and they said, you know, here's a, you know, a box to put all your stuff in. And he was devastated. I went home over the weekend and I, you know, internalized that phone call. And I said, how many people has this happened to in the last five or six years? How many people has that happened to that are my clients looking to buy a business? And this feller just said to me, he said, I don't want to go back to corporate America. I don't want somebody else to, you know, tell me that I could stay or I have to go. And it just touched me. And I got to be honest with you, I lost a lot of sleep over the weekend. And we decided to do an on location um, vested uh, web series to, to talk about what are the next steps? What, what can you learn from my experience in buying and selling a business. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, here at Vested, we've closed over 1,300 deals. We probably do this better than anybody else in the world, but we stay focused. But let's, let's talk about the steps. The first step is finding a business that you're gonna love. Now, I gotta be frank with you, I hate most of them. You know, most of the businesses aren't for me. I look for businesses that are scalable, that have low overhead, uh, that we could have, uh, that have more salespeople than administrative people, and we build a machine, right? Then there are people out there that say, I want to own a restaurant, I'm a great chef, or I want to own a liquor store, or I want to own a stationery store, or I want to own a laundromat, or I want to own a distribution business or a manufacturing business. And he said, he, he called me because he read some articles, and he said, I don't know where to begin. And I said, okay, that's where we're going to start. We're going to teach people how to begin the search, how to uh, find the right business. So there are a bunch of search engines out there. Um, I'm going to give you a few of them. Biz Buy Sell is the number one search engine in the United States. The second one is businessesforsale.com. Then there's BizQuest, Emerging Network. And then you'll go down, you'll go onto Google and you'll type in buying a business. And what you're going to see is you're going to see not only my listings, but you're going to see listings from competitors of ours. And, you know, people say, oh my God, you're going to go online and you're going to tell the general public where to find businesses, even if they're not yours. And the answer is yes. Because I take it very seriously that we want to find you the right business. And if I don't have the right business and one of my competitors have the right business for you, God bless, I steered you in the right direction and you bought a business. If you see a business that we have um, and you want to buy it, our representatives would be glad to help you with that process. So the answer is yes, we're going to steer you in the direction of using the compass and going out there and finding the right business for you. Now, you got to picture yourself running that business. So you, I always ask the um, potential client right away, I said, what do you like to do? Because if you like what you do, you'll be very successful doing it. If you buy a business that you hate what you're doing, you're going to fail or you'll be miserable in that process. No matter how much money you make, if you hate doing it, it's, it, it's not a win. The first objective is finding a business that you're going to really love to run and you pitch yourself doing. Um, and you, it, it, it's going to be very important that that business is a business that you're going to be so proud to own that you're going to be talking about it to your friends, your family, and your loved ones on a daily basis. Something that you're never going to get sick of. The second piece of the equation is where is it going to be located? So I always tell everybody, geographically, you don't want it to be more than an hour from your home. Everybody will travel to a little bit to earn an income and, and buy cash flow. Uh, but make sure it's not two and a half or three hours away from you. Make sure it's within an hour. And I su strongly suggest driving the, the distance during rush hour. I talk to my clients all the time. They say, oh, my God, nobody's ever said that to me. 
well, you know, if that hour drive at 3 o'clock is an hour and a half or two during rush hour, that might possess a problem um, because if you want to get there by 9 o'clock, you have to get up very, very early. So, you know, just be smart about all the details. The devils are definitely in the details. The third part is how organized is the business? Now, many times you're going to find businesses that, that are not organized correctly. They're going to look broken. Well, that's the opportunity because you're coming out of corporate America, you have years and years of experience, and you're a professional, and you can fix whatever is you know, semi-broken. But the reality is, the businesses that you buy, you're buying because they have cash flow, they have you know, financial statements, they have employees, they got rents, they got leases, uh, they got inventory, they got locations. Um, you're gonna be buying those businesses because that is part of the, the biggest part of the battle is, can I get a business to work? and you're buying businesses that are working. Now, they're working through the capability of the entrepreneur who's selling it. You gotta look at your capabilities. What are you good at? So if we find a business that you like doing what you're doing, it's geographically um, you know, in an area that you wanna be, okay, and it's not geographically undesirable, it's geographically desirable, and it's something that you think that you could do better than the entrepreneur that is selling it, well, that creates what I call a win-win. So what you do is you go onto all these search engines, the biz buy, sell, businesses for sale.com, biz quest, merchant network. You put in your state and you click. Now, 80% 80, 80 of the business owners who come to us, so those buyers that come to us um, looking for a business, buy something completely different than what they first came out looking for. They might might have come out looking for a car wash, then they buy a laundromat. They might come out looking for a laundromat, they buy a car wash. Keep an open mind um, on, during this process and you know make sure that um, you look at everything and go on the meetings. You know, I strongly one of the one of the key points I tell all my brokers all the time is let the entrepreneurs meet the entrepreneurs, right? So you're gonna learn something from every single meeting. It'll never be a waste of time. That's my advice for you today. You know, get out there, start to do the homework. There is another world out there. Don't panic. We're gonna find you the right business. Here at Vested, we pride ourselves on matching the right entrepreneur with the right opportunity. We look forward to working with you. If we could help you, we're just a phone call away. Don't hesitate. Make that phone call. It starts with you. Thank you for joining us.